Hey guys, so this is a little bit of a different vlog, but I have Flo Knowles photography coming over today. So I wanted to make a vlog on how to prep for a horsey photo shoot because I know a lot of people sometimes like wonder exactly how they run, what to do, and there's loads of like things you figure out after doing it that you wish you had done before. So basically I'm gonna run you through the best way to prep for an equine photo shoot. So first up is finding the right photographer. You wanna make sure that you like the style because each photographer has a different one. So you wanna make sure that you guys will be on the same page. So I really like Flo because she's got quite like an edgy, kind of dramatic look to her pictures and that's what I really like. Next up, you wanna to speak to the photographer that you have picked about what kind of shots you want because there are so many different ways you can go. You can have like riding shots, you can have bond shots, which is just you and your horse in love. You can have just the horse, you can have close-ups, you can have them in the field, you can have whatever, there's so many different options. So make sure you know which kind of photos you wanna get so the photographer can prep and you can prep. So next up is choosing your location and this is such a crucial one because you don't wanna say I wanna get like a bareback photo with my horse in an orchard and your horse has never been ridden bareback and you've never ridden them in the orchard and you go to try and get a picture and all you get is a picture of you falling off. Nobody wants that to happen. So make sure that your location you're gonna pick is one that you feel safe and happy and the horse can be calm and relaxed because they've gotta be standing still for photos and also a location that you can get to. What I love about Flo is wherever we are, she can get great shots. So we can do it in the stables, we can do it in the arena, we can do it in the garden, we can do it on a road, we can do whatever. She always gets really, really good shots. So again, it does depend on the photographer you've picked. Next up is choosing your out fit so really does depend what you're going for if you want to just get some riding shots obviously you'll need to be in your riding gear you might want to be in your competition gear sometimes you want to go for a casual look which is the ones me and Flo have done normally but today we are going to go for a dress look or a smart look um so yeah that is what I'm going to be wearing today now I would say with your outfit, leave it till last thing to put it on because the last thing you want, especially if it's like smart stuff, is horse dribble down a nice dress. And if it's a really special photo shoot for you, you can always book your hair to be done in some funky style or you can have someone come and do your makeup and really make a day of it. I'll be doing my own makeup and my own hair today but it is a really nice added touch. Last thing, if your horse is quite hairy and you want to prep them for the photo shoot, I really would suggest doing that a couple of weeks before so all the lines can fade away and they can look at their best. So it's the day before the photo shoot. What are we gonna do? How are we gonna prep? Firstly, we wanna make sure our horse is nice and clean. So that can be giving them a bath, giving them a good groom, making sure their socks are white, checking that their hair is all in order, maybe trimming their mane, trimming their tail, all that sort of thing. Next up as well is you want to make sure all your tack and equipment is clean so if you are using a head collar make sure it's nice and clean if you're using your tack because the last thing you want is to see these beautiful shots and to be annoyed that your tack wasn't quite on point. Also you don't want to be doing that the day of the photo shoot because you're going to be already all clean and you don't want to get dirty. Next up, checking your outfit is all prepped and your props if you have any are ready because the last thing you want to be doing is stressing about things on the actual day. Photo shoots, okay, they seem more like calm and easy but when you're running around trying to find things, it doesn't make it very enjoyable. So I would say be prepared. What happened to us? What happened to all the love we always took for granted? Are we stranded? Is it too late? Is it too late? That have faded, complicated I'm waiting for an answer Waiting for a sparkle to come To ignite love I need no second chances I'm tired of romances without love So where do we go when we can't find our way? I don't wanna be alone I need you to Be safe with your shoe options. I'm gonna walk him around in my trainers and then shove those on just before the photos.
Wilfie! And look up at him. Make sure to like, share, subscribe and tag a friend. Okay, I'm gonna go. Is it still going? <laughs> Glasses on, I'll feel less awkward. Maybe if I just put the camera up and you can do it by yourself. Oh, okay, that is instantly better. I feel like I'm covered. <laughs> so I look really stupid. No! <laughs> <laughs> okay. So guys, I'm really pleased. Oh no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not pleased. Okay.